I was surprised about it. Um, I learned about it um, during the press conference. Um, many of you remember in 2022, I believe it was, I sent a letter to the DA saying if there's ever an issue involving the Savannah Police Department or any of his officers, you call me directly and we'll deal with it. Send a letter. Um, this was made by uh, the district attorney. Um, our police department was not given the opportunity to um, ask questions. They were not given the opportunity to discuss what the factual points were in these cases. Um, the DA's office chose to pursue indictments in those cases. And even though they could have requested um, additional investigations from the Savannah Police Department. The reality is, is this. The case is the case. Evidence is evidence. Witnesses are witnesses. We accept the fact that we had two officers that did not do the right thing. And they have been appropriately disciplined by the city of Savannah. Likewise, they have been indicted by the district attorney. That happens. But the fact of the matter is, one detective doth not a case make because the evidence is still there. The testimony is still there. The, uh, the scientific proof is still there. And the fact is, these cases could be um, easily recharged. Um, we don't have one detective working on cases. We have several detectives working on uh, those cases. And we would have stood ready if we were asked to be able to deal with that. Um, it should be noted that the DA's office has its own investigative team responsible um, for verifying case integrity. Um, so hopefully they did that. Um, you know, we have to have collaboration. And that didn't happen here. Um, I'm disappointed because we have reached out to try to do that. Um, I have certainly offered the Savannah Police Department and insisted that uh, the city manager, uh, our city attorney, our police chief, that we are team players in this because we're very clear that if you pull triggers in our cities, um, that you know something bad needs to happen to you. The DA's office must, must prioritize justice over politics um, and ensuring that the decisions to uh, that are made are made in the best interest of public safety and not for political gain. I mean, it's election season. I mean, we be, let's be clear about what this is. Um, the integrity of Savannah police officers um, who are committed to serving the community um, should not be undermined by prosecutorial decisions. Um, we have a 600-member police force of honorable men and women who get out there and work their butts off every single day. They are making the arrests. They are making the cases. We just need a partner who's going to try the cases. And if there's a problem, then let's figure out what the problem is and let's work it out. Um, the cases are still the cases. The DA has a responsibility to ensure that the cases they bring are strong and evidence-based, and the focus should be on securing justice. For me, I want to make sure that these families are, um, get the accountability. They don't get justice, but get accountability. Um, someone's loved one has been victimized, particularly in murder cases. And so we want to make sure that those mommies and those daddies, those papas, they, these big mamas, these daughters and these sons are able to have their day in court. And I remain committed to doing every single thing I can to make sure that that happens. And so if you have two bad apples, then we deal with the bad apples. But the case remains the case. And again, you know, we made sure that we were clear that if there was an issue with a Savannah police officer or the way we were handling cases, to let me know and I would ensure personally that it would be dealt with. That did not happen. Um, you, know, we, you know, we shouldn't have to find out in a press conference, but it is what it is. Um, and we'll just take it what it is. However, we remain committed uh, to doing what we can for our victims, victims, victims. Um, not only those that can't speak for themselves,
but for those who have to live to tell the story. So I know you didn't ask me for all that, and I was trying to stay away from that, but you asked me, so, I mean, because I, it, it was just, why? You know, a simple phone call, we have issues with these cases, Mr. Mayor. Mr. City Manager, we have issues with these cases. Mr. Attorney, we have issues with these cases. Mr. Police Chief, we have issues with these, these cases. Then let's find out how do we work together to address them. It didn't happen. It was a press conference, so. But all I'm saying is we need prosecutors to prosecute. 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 